standing water and the moisture that's really saturating the top half inch or so of the soil out here south of the county has county engineers the county administrator Keith Burt and other experts out here for Cass County really worried about the coming flood. So a design group out near Comstock has come up with a way that they think can get some of this water moving out in spite of the snow that's built up and damming it back away from ultimately flowing into the river. They've spent the last couple of years designing a new machine that literally cuts through the snow and ice. From. Do you well, remember them when they started talking about it? Well, this has been in the works for probably two years. Oh, really? To get the specifics, you'd want to talk to Dave Myshack. He's kind of the he's the, guy. he's the guy. Yeah, it's been two or three years since we started working with the concept. Uh, Lynn Brecky, the local farmer here, had trouble with his sections of land flooding and not moving. And when the water did move, it always seemed to move about the time the, the crest was coming through the Red River. So we wanted to look at a way of getting the water to move early with a piece of farm equipment. And so this is a side, side ditcher, as we refer to it. it. Moves out to the side of the tractor about up to about 27 to 30 feet mm -hmm. and allows the farmer from the seat of the cab to uh, make cuts in the ditch in the snow, water, ice, whatever have you, to make the water flow early. The idea is, and maybe he told you, to get the water moving early. This is just a prototype machine, so it could be fine-tuned, uh -huh. things like that. Water, the water's there, and Mother Nature's going to release it when she wants to. What we would like to try to do is get it to flow like it naturally would without snow in the ditches and coolies and rivers. And by allowing it to go out early, it gets ahead. The crest is created by all that coming together at once. And it's further aggravated if you have water. If you've got water that's being held back in a field by snow, mm -hmm. now you get an inch of rain on it. You've got the water that's held back plus the rain suddenly washing through mm -hmm. those snow banks. And that's what I believe is a, is a major part of the crest. Okay. The, this is just a single piece of equipment that can do it. Excavators, dozers, uh, tractors, loaders. There's many ways of doing it, but by using this particular approach, you can maybe streamline it a little bit. You're in the comfort of the cab. Mm -hmm. You can reach out. You're not out, you know, with a couple of pieces of equipment. It's very mobile. You can move at 20 mile an hour, mm -hmm. you know, at farm tractor speeds. You can reach out to 30 feet. You know, any standing water that you see right now today, I would ask you, why is it there? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be there. Should right. move. If, if you can move the snow, the water will be gone. If that water is gone, it's ahead of the crest. Here last week, we cut this. We had wow. some water building up right here by the farm. Uh -huh. So we cut one cut through all this snow and this water went. That was before it started melting and kind of ponding up in the big ditch up there. So yeah, I drained all this right here. So it, uh, it definitely works. There's no, no doubt about it. It's even got a GPS attached to it that allows them to set their grade to within an inch's accuracy. For more information on this project and more on the flood fight to come, just check out InforumTV.com. I'm Ellie Welker.